Yes, I think they should be in a dedicated bike lane. Yes, I do think they have the right to be on the road. As a serious bike rider, I think bikes should be, have every right to be on the road. Yes, I think they should be in a dedicated bike lane. I don't agree with them being in the same lane that the cars are in. Uh, yes, I do think they have the right to be on the road. I think we just need to educate people a little bit better on how to share the share it so we can be safe out there. But yeah, I definitely think there's a place out there for them. As a serious bike rider, I think bikes should be, have every right to be on the road as, as well as cars because cycling is a great is a great thing to do. It keeps you fit and it's less pollution. So so bikes should definitely be on the road as well as cars. Yes. I think Hunter Tower has a great educational program in Year 9 and I think all schools take that on board. I uh, definitely think that that's um, something that should increase. Definitely gives kids a bit of a head start. Yeah, it's only going to help um, bikes on the road down the track. I do a bit of the, uh, the bicycle education safety checks uh, with some of the schools. Uh, it basically helps everyone. Yes, this community is here. We have some dedicated bike tracks around here. That makes it easier to like bikes because they're not on the road as much. I definitely think it's bike friendly. Uh, good network of cycle paths around and uh, family cycling. Just on the weekend, you'll see them, see everyone out and about. It's, uh, it's a good way to be. No, I haven't, but I have seen an accident before and it's absolutely horrific because basically the Cyclist has no protection at all. Um, the helmet, etc., doesn't really do a lot when there's a one ton car coming at them. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty awful to see something like that. With my experiences, uh, cars are more likely to have an accident. There's a lot more cars on the road, so hence there'll be a lot more accidents. Bikes, there's not so many bikes on the road. It's a much safer way to travel. I have not, uh, but I do know people that have. It's never a good thing to be a part of. So. Uh, definitely. There's a lot of uneducated people out there, both cyclists as well as motorists. There's always a few concerns out there for sure. I do feel like I'm not sure what the bike rider's going to do. Um, you never know whether they're going to swerve out or come in front of the car. Um, it is a bit nerve wracking. I like to get past them as quick as I can if, if there's one in my lane. Like you'd have an accident, there's a lot more cars on the road, hence there'll be a lot more accidents. Bikes, there's not so many bikes on the road. It's a much safer way to travel. Uh, I mean, yeah, more bikes on the road and less cars. I mean, sure, that's uh, that's easy math. Try and keep the numbers down of the cars, I guess. Yeah, sure. It's less cars. The more bikes there are, the less cars. Uh, in that respect. There's definitely uh, an increase in uh, safety items being sold. Um, whether it be bells, reflectors, or even just uh, items that will help you stand out. Um, vests and, you know, standard safety equipment for the bikes and hel everyone's wearing helmets these days. And um, yeah, so everyone's pretty aware of it. Did you know that there was a minimal 10,000 people riding to work in the late 90s? And now there is a massive 24,000. Have you heard of the Great Victorian Bike Ride around the bay in a day? Did you know the National Ride to Work Day was on October the 16th? Most likely not. You only have to ride three times a week to get your recommended weekly exercise. If you don't ride because of fears you may have, try this. Cyclist fatalities dropped 12% between 2008 and 2009, from 718 to 630. Compared to the 13,500 deaths from cars in 2011 in Victoria alone. All it takes is for you to ride to work or school three times a week to dramatically reduce these numbers. So get on your bike this weekend and see what's out there.